Kos is most played champion professionally at 72 games with a win-loss ratio of just under 60%. The final lock-in is going to be the orb and teleported back to lane. He's sitting on that sheen. Caulfield's Warhammer for Perks as he gets caught out. Take a look at the mini-map. Faker's coming from mid lane. Perks gets... Uh, in exchange, they'll lose an ocean break. Yeah, they certainly will, but it's not the biggest price to pay, especially in the style of game they're now playing. They've got their top lane on saying that. Good news is that they've been able to staunch the bleeding that was starting to occur on the bottom side Once of the Once again, map. pushing Faker away from the tower, and just a couple of autos should secure it on this wave. With the Elise and Jace combination, that's the second tower going in Telecom. They don't have the numbers, they don't have the resources, and actually, they don't have a lot of waves set up. Teleport's available in favor of G2 Esports at what looks to be the cost of the top tower. Can't, has he can't see anything. It is a 5,000 gold lead in favor of Europe's G2 SKT. Telecom instead, saying, let's try to keep the Baron vision up. An Infernal versus a Baron. So they're, they're being forced off this mid lane turret. All right, the tower will fall shortly. Khan's got his hands on a quickness. So if SKT can find an opportunity that's another huge tool to use in this team fight perks takes a big chunk of damage sticks around there goes the bomb my ninjas to get dodged by the feather storm skt looking for the re-engage abscond of duck use their onto wonder defensive move away from caps the hourglass goes down perks takes out clint that's the first for g2 the cocoon of the back end that secures the kill to teddy now faker needs to do it all he's forced to run away use that cleanse still holds onto the flash it's too to him vision denial inside the pit though this will benefit g2 Taking a look at the minimap, Mata's making his way up. Baron's going very low. This should be G2's, and it's secured by Perks. Baron and an even larger gold lead at 24 minutes on the clock. Korea wasn't able to regain any Chlora up oh, top side. All right, Caps is in a little bit of trouble here. No flash available. That is an easy kill picked up by SKT. And listen to Hanoi. That's a lot of SKT fans in the audience. While that's going on, though, G2 are now looking for the engage. The quickness goes forward. Clint forced to move defensively. The Hourglass used by Khan. He buys some time. Steals the Featherstorm. Buys a few extra seconds. But it's certainly oh. not enough. Here comes Faker with the Emperor's Divide. Going gold in his G2 Esports. A second kill from the fight. Now the roars in return as G2 can turn the pressure back around. Just as I was about to criticize G2 for their first big mistake of the game, they immediately turn it around. As SKT, they thought they were confident enough to go for this red buff, but you gotta respect Perks. Level 16 on the Zaya. No one can approach him. He melts through the SKT lineup, and now they break the base. The base is open wide. The inhibitor will fall shortly. 15 seconds for Khan. Are they going for it? for Faker. G2 Esports are teleporting into the base. They're looking for the Nexus turrets with the Baron empowered minions. Nexus turret number one falls. Nexus turret number two is being focused. That's Martin down. Teddy flashes away. That's not over yet. The Nexus turret falls. Ladies and gentlemen watching MSI, do you believe G2 obliterate SKT? Because I know it can be a bit of a difficult matchup. Did but... he just counterpick himself? <laughs> Is that what we're seeing now? So I think what? the goal is to play around bot side of the Spot map. In the VODs. And uh, here we see the ulti. It's going to happen anyway. Well, there we go. Just before eight minutes. But the damage is so high. Now Flash Wolves are on the retreat. Needs to find the stun. That's Betty locked down. He's got no Flash, remember? First blood picked up by Core JJ. He just had every advantage. And you know, this is what a good draft gives you if you've read the fact that they're going to go slow. They're committing by bringing this Red Peril down towards the bot side to give Impact the freedom to now move out of that 1v1 and then move double lift elsewhere on the map. And it just feels like they're enabling their star carry the way in which they should be. But we'll see whether this is going to be a counterpunch from the Flash Wolves. No pulling out of the play. So now they've got themselves a 30 CS lead. By onto Rather again. All right, there's the paranoia. Boogie is going to be trying to help out Rather. That's a dash forward there from Jim. Boogie's going low to double lift. That gets on the board. Second kill of the game. And the first like Nocton, where you really want to be going forward. And Trevor, I have a feeling that the Flash will sort this laning See phase with a fight come. Jensen's making his way up from the tri bush. That's the paranoia already thrown down. Dragon is now being interrupted. And the teleport comes up from Impact. Impact finds himself in the middle of the melee. He's in trouble. The second infernal is picked up by X Smithy. Now Core is backing away. Empress Divide throws Team Liquid aside. Jensen is on to Betty. Putting the damage down to Shalsi is already out. Jensen finds the second of the fight. And now Boogie's running for his life on the wrong side of the rift. Hanabi gets tagged by a Winter's Bite and will pick up X Smithy with at least a transfusion. The stun comes down and Jensen picks up another. They get the dragon. They get the kills. And TL now in firm control of this game.
Flash Wars, the way in which they approached this fight was disastrous. Throwing absolutely everything at impact. Up, and Jensen has TP if needed. Yeah, the unsealed cell book gives them a lot of flexibility, meaning that Jensen can be moved from the far side lane. Steps forward, reminder of how different Korchic has had an impact on Team Liquid. He has the fight set up, not going to go just yet. Chelsea's instantly blown up. 4JJ manages I to I think that Jensen is someone that has proven himself on the international stage. Hold that for the fight. Well, he's got another opportunity. The taunt will come out from X Smithy. Look at that pillar of ice. Jensen goes all the way back in. Rather, he's chunked so, so low. Chelsea goes down as Jensen finds yet another kill. Hanabi forced a proto belt to safety. And of course, the Chelsea once again going down. TL are using Baron as a perfect bait. Well, honestly, this is just great use of vision control because they have so much vision in the river. It means that Flash Wars have no idea what's going on. They've abandoned the bot lane completely because they've ran out of teleport. So they've just been awkwardly dancing around this objective, looking for something to get them the way back into the game. And Team Liquid don't give it to them. The moment they overstep, they punish the mistake. 3-0-2 on the Akali. Got himself that bouncy double of 204 on the Lucian. And the man I've spoken a lot about, 4JJ. Right. And when you saw the veterans added to the TL lineup, I think this is what everyone hoped that you yeah. would see on the international stage. This is what success looks like when a TL branded team comes out, controls the pace, and just shuts you out. And of course, the, the question we're going to find out as the day plays Desperation out here. is whether or not it's going to be quick enough. There goes Boogie, he goes in. Hanabi completes the TP, and this will be just in time for the Guardian Angel to come back up. That's Hanabi already down. Shouts running for his life. Jensen dashes all the way in, waits for the taunt to come out. He turns his attention over to Rather. Rather escapes with his life for now, burning down from the Ignite. Double up takes the tower. I think the Ignite takes down Rather. That is four members of Flash Wolves down. Perfect team fight from the side of Team Liquid. Flash Wolves went for the desperation play. They knew they were going to lose this game, but it was not enough. Five members still alive. Team Liquid looked to get their first win of MSI. And you could see they got the pieces together, but they could not make it worth. TL will push the Nexus. Yeah, bet he's going to get jumped on for the time being. Jensen fancies himself a dive. Not right now as the Nexus is being focused. The North American LCS team, Liquid, will take down Flash Wolves to open up MSI groups. It's uh, Zoe to get out of laning phase early. Sure, it's into Rookie Syndra. And control the river. Rookie Syndra was instrumental <laughs> in the bottom. His troubles. And Rookie is go. getting good pressure in the mid lane. Now the Shy. He gets jumped on. That was a flash from Zeros, but they're currently getting zero. That's a defensive flash away from the Shy. Zeros goes down. First blood to Ning. Repel up. Drop down. Suhal's running for his life. The Unborrow sheds him flying. And as the fangs get sunk in, the Shy helps get it. But you would have loved to have seen the slight knockback from the Jace Q actually in the bottom lane. All right, that's a flash forward into the bone skewer. Really nicely oh. done by Pallet. That was B E A beautiful. No, potentially these waves. Oh, Ning stops. Up again. Yes, he is. Zeros oh. is going to put the hammer down. Ning does not get caught by the cocoon, though. Here comes Suhao. Now the Shy is going to try to turn this around. He transforms into that cannon form. It's a double kill for Fongbu Buffalo. Shy, not too disappointed. We're in bot lane again. Out. We jump down to the bot lane. Balan is down. Suhao wants well, everything at the wall. And right now, it is. Uh, everything that is sticking onto IG. All right, now Ning is in a little bit of trouble. He's going to dash forward. Take a look at the damage from Big Goro. Here comes Pallet, death from below. That's another on the board for PvP. He gets, he gets picked off. And now Fong Fu Buffalo pick up the Infernal Drake. Yes, CS is being crossed right now by many Invictus Gaming men. Bone Skewer has channeled his charge. He's gone fishing for Bowland. Defensive flash, and there's the chain of corruption starting to spread. Teleport completes from the Shires Pallet inside. He's going on a ghost water dive. LPL is in the bottom lane. And it's Big Coro that kills Ning. The cocoon oh. has out one as Big Coro is now taken down. The Shy's trying to turn this around. Somehow, no, and Zeros have got some kills. Invictus Gaming continue to fight. They're caught between two towers. Bone Skewer goes out. That's a catch on to a rookie. The Shy's fighting three. The cocoon locks him down. And Fong Vu Buffalo, they get another kill. Vietnam erupts as Invictus. Gaming are falling to Fong Vu Buffalo. <laughs> oh my god, Rookie!
Rocky is just basic. Will he get out? No, he will not. The unleashed power comes out and Noel misses every skill shot. <laughs> gets killed by Rocky, but maybe 10 minutes later than expected. Suhao might be next. Don't go in there. All right, there's the volatile spiraling. Suhao fancies a shot. Teleports now. Being but channeled. Down. I think that's Gaki Love. They scatter the week. Comes out. Here comes Big Coro. Now Big Coro and Suhao looking for an additional kill. Zeros, he's now <laughs> find them. That's the hammer down at the Jackie Love. Here comes Pallet. Where's the bone skewer? Needs to find a target. Battle out ready for his life. I need another play by play as the Void Rush jumps out, dashes down. That's a kill to Suhao. That's sinking the fangs onto Big Coro. And Pallet's going to escape with his life Two, for now. Maybe even three minion raids in the bot side and secure so many extra tower plates. So that's the S advantage. To dive this tower. This tower does so much damage. And now Zeros, he looks like he's in trouble. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh he gets the shy. That was a 1v1 until Invictus came to bail. into this environment, you have to argue they have a little more experience. And the fact that even after losing so many members in that bot dive, to the they... lanes to maybe unlock this mountain drain. Yeah, however, they're keeping Zeros in the top lane, so potentially just looking for the smarter macro play. No teleport available means that he's just accruing himself some gold. And you can see the shy misread that. Maybe he thought he was going down river because deployed towards mid lane. That is going to be the focus. Jackie Love does get slept, but there's no further CC. And that's three quick shed. Let's take a look. Noel is going to find the Sleepy Trouble Bubble onto Ning. That is the most crucial target. Pallet. He's decided to chase onto Rookie. Turns back into the cannon form. The Shock Blast will not find its target. Here comes Ning. Chilling smite flash for flash. Zeros is now trying to escape. The Void Rush will tag. I'm looking at the support. No one's around. But there's a four and three being set up in the mid lane. Can and nameplates for a moment. I know it's hard. If you just look at the compositions, which we'll get to in a moment or two, the Sleepy Trouble Bubble that's going to find a target. Jackie Love is down. PvP have got two. But here comes Rookie. Unleashed Power is going to get dodged away from thanks to that stopwatch. It's a five on three. Bone Skewer won't find the target. The Shy's oh. trying to turn it around. Look at that burst damage onto Rookie. Here comes oh. Pallet. That's a depth from below. Gets the flash out of Rookie. Now Ning, he's going to go down. PvP have got three quick kills. The Shy and Rookie hold onto the tower for now. You know what, Quick Shot? I can easily take nameplates off for this game as the Shy gets slapped. The Bone Skewer comes out. The Shy stays alive a few seconds longer. Turns it around in a one for one trade. But it's Fong Vu Buffalo that will get the tower as well. And you have to criticize Invictus for contesting these objectives because every single time they do, it goes in Fong Vu's favor. Is that favor. a Boris flag that we're seeing right now? Invictus came and they're going in. They are indeed. That's a defensive flash from Noel. He's running for his life. Jackie Lab, I actually think, got helped out by that Bone Skewer. He teleported in, finds himself a kill, and now IG are on the offense. So the initial mistake came in from Invictus Gaming overextending in the middle lane. They got collapsed on by Fong Vu Buffalo, and as you identify... Ex execution. Fong Vu in trouble. Yes, they are. Noel's going to get uh, not taken out. He survives. I thought the piercing arrow would kill him. Pallet and Suha trying to escape. Here comes Ning, once again looking for a target. Chain of Corruption will take down Noel, and Ning with a furious bite. Not going to be enough just yet. Two quick kills to IG. So they set up the map well. This time, they bring the numbers to the area first. Zeros still splitting in the bottom lane. They'll start up, Baron. All right, Baron is going to be focused. Teleport is going to be channeled here from Zeros. Smite is available. No, it's on cooldown for Suhao. Zeros like shooting fish in a barrel. Accelerated shock boss goes in. That's a lot of damage inside the pit. There's the flash in with the hammer. Zeros gets sneak. There's no flash smite available. That's another onto Baron. The Baron is picked up by Suhao. Fong Vu Buffalo have survived and stopped the Baron. But it's still an ace for IG. They walk away with two members alive, but no Baron in their pocket. Going for the straight 5v5 from the beginning could end disastrously for them. And I like this decision. They don't have a wave, which means they can't trade objectives. So PvP actually come out on top, but no teleport on Zeros right now. So Here's I just something that I like to see. Pallet might be caught out. All right, there's the engage onto Pallet. He's going to look for the stun on the shine. Not going to find it just yet. Zeros puts the hammer down. There is Suhao. He's going to use that stopwatch for now. A lot of damage on the back end. The Shy is on a killing spree. He's taken out Zeros. That's the team fight, the 5v5 that PvP don't really want. Exactly that quick shot. Ooh, we see another engage onto North. Flash even being burned from the side of the Shy. But this time, the big powerhouse of Zeros. He has been taken off the map. IG have all five members alive and a lot of ultis still actually available. Rookie and Ning, big damaging abilities that if they land that crucial CC, could swing the fight even further in favor of IG. All right, Baolan throws up that unbreakable. He blocks some of the damage, will get put to sleep in a moment. Pallet gets the bone skewer. He pulls the Shy all the way backwards underneath the tower. Pallet set that one up. Now Rookie is chasing forward, looking for the unleashed power. Claims will buy some time for him. Baolan gets caught out once.
once again by the Bone Skewer, and Noel stays alive thanks to that stopwatch. Ning, Void rushes out, catches a target, hits a one-for-one -one trade. Death from below comes down, and that's a rappel up to dodge the scatter of the week. Cocoon onto Bowland, the shield is up. Rookie's are stepping forward, but his ultimate's already been used. And Big Koro does not fancy a shot, but here comes Zeros. He needs to get that accelerated shock blast down. He needs to find a target, and it's not gonna land on the Rookie. That's a flash forward. The hammer's dodged away from, and Rookie kills Zeros into the fountain once again. His way from the east. He's gonna throw those power stars into the pit. Sleepy Trouble Bubble goes in. The, that's already a kill onto Rookie. Now the Baron's going low. The Shy's picked the fight with Big Koro. Death from below comes up. Big Koro might be winning the fight. Inhibitor is down. It is uh, Baron secured by Invictus Gaming. But Zeros is on the Nexus turret. The longer this fight goes, the more damage Zeros can do. That's another kill. This time onto Su Hao. Nexus turret number two is being focused down. Fong Vu Buffalo. They're pushing onto the Nexus. The turret falls. And now there's a retreat. Baolan and Ning, they've made it back in time. Let's look at the minimap. Nor may be able to come up. Void Rush comes out. Zeros will get taken down by the tower. And with the Baron door, they just want to try and sneak them way in and if they can just secure this nexus then they can win the game which is forcing ig to be like they're in two parts right now they can't decide what the best decision is and they are splitting you can see already the shy heads back into that top lane trying to stop this push ning's coming also Oh, what more can happen? Ning has joined the fray. 2v2 jungle top. How the game started, maybe how the game ends. The mid lane is under pressure as Invictus Gaming are pushing into the tower. Void Rush comes out from Ning. Ning will be able to get the stopwatch from Zhu Hao, Hourglass rather, but the base still stands and what goes up must come down. Ning is on a killing spree. There's a 45 second death timer. Yeah, desperation creeping into Fong Vu's matchup. They have already had their base broken. IG looking to push in. All right, take a look what damage can happen. Zeros is now in a 1v2. But remember, while this fight is going on, the base defense stands. The inhibitor has fallen, though, in that 3v3. Ning will pick up the kill. Baron Empowered Minions now pushing into the base. Big Cora's got the GA, and he needs to have a team game-saving moment. Pallet's not going to be able to find a target as Noel trying to throw out those paddle stars. But Pallet gets blown up where he stands. Now, Wit's End was completed by Jackie Love, and he's obliterating the objectives. GA is Pop, Jackie Love is single-handedly destroying Fong Vu Buffalo. He picks himself up the triple kill. He turns his attention to the Nexus turrets. And I started to believe, but it was a bridge too far. Invictus Gaming will take down Fong Vu Buffalo. And they in this Cho'Gath, and yes, they will. A lot of AP damage threat coming out from this Flash Wolves composition. That's We're going to have a rumble It's going to be right there to make it happen. Let's see if they can find the rune prison. That one's going to be landing there. Flash over the rupture. Hanabi trying to get himself away. Clip pursuing. Sonic wave into the resonating strike. Damage coming through. One more hit. will do it. And first blood goes to S here. Uh, has provided him the extra information. But top side, it's Clid making a return trip. Hanabi in some trouble. Going to be kicked back into the brush. More damage coming through from both these guys, and there is no way out. Khan makes sure that's a good be... job recognizing, hey, we've got to get something off of this. We can't just allow our top laner to fall behind without making some sort of a cross map play. They'll grab that Drake for themselves. SK. Sure, and in the end, it's Khan who is fun suddenly on the front foot. And this is not just the full turret. This is the full turret plus every plate in the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. That is the importance Again. of using... The man is immaculate at absorbing pressure and not having it be a liability. Now it's clear. Looking to make a play onto Shalsi, who's going to be knocked out of position. Nice Dragon's Rage. Going to make sure that one happens. And the Nautilus goes back Flash to the... know what's good for him. They're down 4,000 gold. They're down TP advantage. This is not a fight anybody, unless Zero. you're looking On for... this Jarvan pick, hasn't been able to get involved, really get his team any wins throughout the game thus far as bottom side the second turn of the game will drop to the side of SKT as Chelsea goes for the flash into the engage but SKT is right here for the follow-up and the counter attack they're gonna be putting a lot of damage into rather who has to go into the stopwatch here immediately stunned down onto Chelsea he's gonna be exploded as the damage just rains into the flash wolves lineup but it's gonna be SKT who then loses two boogie looks to turn it into three but he won't be able to find the damage onto Clid. instead it's Teddy coming in and he'll turn boogie into a right pin cushion as he makes sure he gets yet another kill it's two dead for skt three for flash wolf yeah and with betty chunked out there there's no one left to defend sk telecom will get a turret afterwards and it just reeked of desperation right there from the flash wolves they went for the top lane they were looking for the gank on con they then decide to pivot start running sprinting towards faker seeing if they can make it work but they into teddy's heel that saves him 
from the queue from Boogie, and then Boogie is ready. Can they set up this Kaisa to try and get these kills? Mata goes in though. Mata with the flash initiation Push sets into the up. top lane. Tier two under siege. Rumble can't fight it, and that means it's gone. Yeah, the damage is disgusting Back right away now. Away from the Baron, they don't want to risk anything here. Playing so slow, oh. so controlled. Equalizer is going to be coming down. Flash Wolves looking to start off the fight. Faker going to be taking some damage. Boogie into the back line, but he's going to be all alone and shredded out. Faker's able to find that first kill as Radder's going to be in some trouble. Isolated all alone, taken down, bursted out, and Teddy goes on a killing spree. It is 9 Tootie of this Baron Faker has off. just been Clid and Khan doing the entire thing. Stun's coming through. Faker's able to find the damage. Flash Wolves are going to be losing more men even sooner than they expected. Hanabi is down. Will they be able to make it too? Chelsea tries to get himself away. I don't think you're going to be doing your Spider-Man cosplay much longer, my friend. He is out of there, and Clid makes sure he grabs his second kill of the game. It is a Baron up SKT. 5v3 marching down the top lane. Yeah, very clear control from SK Telecom in their second game of the day here. They know that the only thing they have to worry about is a flash in from Cho'Gath trying to feast away the Baron. So they said two members on defending it, and that is going to be SKT inside the base. And unfortunately, it feels like the fairy tale for Flash Wolves has ended. They do not look like the Korean killers today looking at an 0-2 start. And SKT will not have such a start. The first game was a little bit rough, but they bounce back in style and take Flash Wolves down in 27 minutes. Could be the vein locked in. And we needed the final cherry on top to top off this G2 draft. Again, the question is, where does the vein go? All yeah. in attempt. Yankos, though, heading back to the top side. Control word is there. TP coming in from Wonder. Yankos goes further in, able to find one auto attack, looking for even more. One more will do it, and first blood goes over to G2. And the into a 2v2, but going to be taken low on mana there. The Shy trying to find himself some sort of a play here. Wonder down to one hit. The Shy wanting to make it happen. Goes forward, Yankos doing a good job body blocking that shuriken, making so they can't do anything else. Ning going to be tanking the turret aggro here for now. The Shy's going to be eating oh. the turret shot. Yankos might be able to make it too! Ladies and gentlemen! For the first they know that Yankos is constantly camping, and now that he goes for the there ward! Go. Ning's gonna find him into the wall there. Burst coming through, and Ning will shred Wonder out Ning before Yankos. In this team, if you look at it, between the superficial health that uh, Tom Kench is going to get with Grey Health and Yankos itemizing tank, there's an So much. 100% to zero. Oh, Rookie's in some trouble, trying to get himself away from this Cataclysm. Does still have his Flash ready to go, looking to turn something around, maybe. He has backup coming in from the Shy, who makes his way in and finds the assassination into the shutdown onto Yankos. Cap's now in some trouble himself. A lot of damage coming in from the side of IG. Mickey X can be taken down in the Dragon Pit at the same time into the 2v2. Back into the mid lane is Wonder going to be taken low. Cap's also below half HP, the Shy at 200. The disengage will happen as Burks looks to find something else here onto Balon. Not going to get enough damage to kill. And suddenly Invictus Gaming bite back right there. Huge shutdown into the pockets of Akali of all things. And this is massive because while you have this Vayne, while she's getting so much attention, so many resources from Yankos, I'll hold it. Oh, nice pull there. Ning not able to find the Sonic Wave. Just goes for the Dragon's Rage anyway. Not going to get much from that one. The Shy going in, going forward. Sonic Wave doesn't even need oh. the resonating strike. And Wonder will have to why who arrives. Huge burst damage, but we're back out onto the field. Meanwhile, bottom side, it's Perks nearly killed here. Bellon and Jackie Love looking to maybe make something else happen. Rookie making his way down into the fight now. Thick Skin going to be keeping Mickey X alive for a little bit longer, but it's a nice play to Frog Legs for IG's Miz. Like guy it. who's always on point for the side of G2. I want to take a break because we're going to have a little bit of action. There's no break to take. Jackie Love oh. manages to outplay. Here in mid lane for G2, looking to knock down this mid lane tier one turret. Turret first blood is still on the table. Oh. Meanwhile, Invictus Gaming getting that kill on the caps as well as the Inferno Drake. Here oh. goes, goes oh. Mickey X going to be hurt up. Here's the counter initiation comes in. Bellon looking to lock down three different people. Wonder going to be taken very low. Bellon nearly falls, but Wonder's going to be taken out next. Mickey X cut to pieces. It's a double kill over to the Shy, and they're looking to make even more happen now. Yankos might be ahead, but they're looking to cut him down once more. Gets himself away just barely. Caps coming in. Empowered Transfusion won't do a lot. Invictus Gaming pick up three for nothing. They got a couple injured health bars, but that's not going to stop them from taking down the tier one. Everything that you thought was in doubt. And now we're back uh, into another. Uh, meanwhile, in the mid lane, it's going to be Jackie Love in some trouble. Going to be shut down as Caps gets himself on the board. He'll be taken pretty low. Rookie's going to grab the kill onto him as now Invictus Gaming makes their own counterattack. Ning goes on a rampage, taking down Perch. Mickey X is thrown up into the air, and he'll be taken down again as well. A double kill for Invictus Gaming's jungler. They may have lost their AD carry, but they'll 
find three in return. And they've got control of the map once again. Bottom turret is extremely low here. The Shy going in on a wonder. Oh, this is not where this Bane wants to find herself. The damage comes through. The Hex Drinker won't do a damn. Four, two and two for the Shy's Akali. Wonder in some trouble yet again. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Akali against an 80 carry. Not quite, but the Flash is going to seal his fate. Teleport. That's the Shy picking up one, but the Cavalry has arrived. The Shy has no way out of this one. He'll surely fall to the Collapse coming out from G2. They want to give the kill over to Caps. They'll do so, and that's his second. He'll push on the Tier 2 in the mid lane here now as well. Yankos will throw down that flag, but there's not a lot else he can. He's in the pit. He'll secure that one easily for IG by himself. And considering we're past the 20 minute mark, and IG's 7,000 gold ahead, and a Mountain Drake is now in their pocket, Baron the is. The beneficiary of some shutdown gold. Wonder is not in a good spot. He's got like the KFC variety bucket of items. <laughs> the double down for the Bane in the top side. Not exactly what you want to see as Mickey X is only going to be seeing black and white for the next 30 seconds. He's going to be taken down. Then going to go dominating, taking out Perks there on the back side. Yankos gets a return kill onto Balon, but now Cap's going to be taken very low, nearly taken down. Yankos will be buried in the top lane along next to his friend as the shutdown on the Ning will not mean much when Invictus Gaming is oh. diving deep into the base, and it is an eight. And are able to take the turret afterwards. This is not even close. Invictus Gaming. Five times, considering the build had been be delayed by the Hex Drinker. She's still only at half of that build as Yankos goes in, but he's going to be killed immediately. Perks are going to find the damage, not quite going to get it onto Jackie Love, who goes into the Feather Storm, getting himself away. Wonder's able to find the kill onto Ning, but now more damage coming out. Wonder going to be taken low, but not taken down. Perks grabbing the kill onto Jackie as Caps will clean up Balon and three die on IG. see the Baron at about half HP. Throwing another one in there. Now it's down to 2K. It will be secured by the side of Invictus Gaming, but now where's the fight going to go? Balon going to be caught out here as Mickey X looks to protect Perks somehow. Balon has been killed. If IG tries to continue the fight, they are going to be four versus five, but the shot goes oh. to the killing looks to find the kill. He's able to get the shutdown, but he will throw his life away for it. Caps tries to one versus three. He's able to find himself a single kill, but also going to be shut down. Ning will not get the Sonic Wave onto the last stand. Uh, Ning and Jackie love. So that means the objectives will go their way. Ah, uh, yes, because that's what we're playing. Objective League of Legends. But like you said, it's the mid lane tower, it's the bot lane tower, and it's still more gold that's going into the pockets of Invictus Gaming. Do you guys remember before this game started oh, yeah, yeah. when I said that Invictus Gaming have the highest kills per minute in both LPL and always after the PvP has already what, been sorted out? The, the PvE means the enemy team is also the back enemy. To modern time, we can see Perks nearly dead, has to go back into the spawn platform. Redemption Artillery Missile will not quite find the kill onto him. But that shows you exactly what the state of the game is right now. Ning going forward, looking to maybe find something. Yanko's going to be taking up everybody on the side of IG. He'll be taken down about half. Gargoyle Stoneplay going to be wearing off. Wonder looking to find some damage into Balon. Caps into the back line of IG. Jackie Love going to be under threat. Balon taken down. Caps able to find themselves that first kill as the Shy goes on yet another killing spree. He's able to find himself a double kill. Looking to make it even more as that is going to be the curtain call for G2. Invictus Gaming lose one. They kill five. They get 30 kills in 28 minutes. And IG will repeat their world's performance and take down G2. Woo, finishing this on any sort of snare. All right, final pick for Fong Vu Buffalo will be the cannon, taking that one most likely into the top side there uh, to and really balloon those CS leads. I love that language. I think Impact is a great weak side player, but hold oh, on. Oh, Core JJ keeps himself alive with the heal. The ignite's going to keep oh. on ticking, but the potion plus the heal keeps him alive, but it will not do this. Sona and Tarek are very happy to step forward. You need to pay respectful, but meanwhile, mid lane. Jensen looking to make the play happen. It's going to be a two versus two. Null's going to be taken low, nearly getting himself bursted down. And Smithy gets Team Liquid on the board. But Jensen's the type of player you can trust on this Akali. You can say, hey, I know this guy's going to make something happen. Oof. Let's invest in this lane. And right now, he's making something happen in the 1v1. He's able to find the kill before Zhu Hao's able to get himself involved. The onslaught of Ever shadows. Because of the ridiculous amount of healing these champions can give you. You can see Core JJ just walk up, give him the Bastion Shield, give him the heals coming out, bonk the thing a couple of times to get some healing charges back, and that is an easy Ocean Drake. He late to the play because of the light binding. 
Bong Vu Buffalo gonna take that first turret away from Team Liquid. I applauded TL's first turret stats earlier on, but it looks Bong like Bong Vu Buffalo will not bother contesting. They do not want to risk the entire game on this Infernal Dream. And this is a dream come don't true. have the resources necessary. Well, PVB are making a play here into the top side onto Impact. Four versus one. Not enough oranges to eat to get out of that one. And that's 300 gold. Divide that among everybody's time. That's 75 gold a person. Fantastic. You got a ward each. But when you get the turret on top... And once they have that, they're going to feel much more confident just walking into Baron. X Smithy over the wall, drops the Cataclysm. Pallet going to be clashing away from that one. X Smithy going into the stopwatch, keeping himself alive. Cosmic Radiance comes down. Jensen into the back line. Unstoppable onslaught gets away, but only for a moment. Jensen's able to grab one as Zeros comes around from the side, looking to find the return kill on him. Instead, going to be taken low, taken down. A double kill over to Team Liquid's mid laner. They're able to get that re-engage. You can see they flash out of the Cataclysm, but Jensen follows it. Now they're going back in. It's not over. Doublet grabs himself the stun, and that is going to be another dead Buffalo. Null falls, and Team Liquid get three for zero. Now they've got the chance to make something happen, and the call is Baron. Yeah, immediately walking over to the Baron. It's just the poke damage left from Pallet and Big Coro. Now the Lux ultimate is available there, but they don't have vision on the Baron to start. And that is the critical team fight of the game. 23, almost 24 minutes into the game. That is going to be Baron for the... Zona Tarek, and that is just too much to deal with. You get so much pushing. Jensen going for another oh, kill. Jensen is not going to be sated with only a couple. And that's what I'm looking for now. Double with the Lich Bane hanging out there in mid lane with Core JJ nearby. Impact going to be pushing up here in the bottom side, level 15 on this gangplank. It's Smithy going to start things off here onto Zhu Hao. One sort of shadow is not going to be used just yet. Now, counter initiating. Smithy in some trouble. One versus four. No stopwatch available, but he's got the backup coming in from Devilith, who's going to be taken very low. Big Coral going on a killing spree, finding the kill down. Auto Smithy. Impact's able to find himself one onto Zeros. Nall tries to get away. Impact's going to explode the barrel, but now he finds himself caught between three members. Over the wall comes Jensen. Mop and bucket at the ready. Here's the cleanup, oh. bro. Unstoppable for Team Liquid. It's a double make it, a triple, or is it? It doesn't matter who they went to. They're all falling over. Fog Boo Buffalo lose four. And that is going to be complete destruction. With a Baron buff afterwards, your Baron power play hits that 4,000 mark, Captain Flowers, and goes straight through the roof. Jensen is popping off in this game. This is his first MSI. This is a player who joined Team Liquid because he wanted that in a LCS title. He wanted to win domestically. He wanted to get a chance to play at MSI. And if this is what he's going to look like, Damn if he didn't deserve it. And he said that he would take Double If out of the group stage. That was the deal right there. And it looks like TL are starting to look at a 2-0 start to their MSI run. Yeah. Match that 1-3-1. Suddenly they have another weapon in their arsenal to make Half them a... They should be able to finish this one off rather easily. I talked in the last game about how... Get lunch money. Then, okay. <laughs> if they don't drop it, then it's going to be in their favor here. One more bit of burst damage here as they push up the minion wave into the tower. Jensen on the outside going to flank. Here we go. Big Coral going to be in some trouble. Cosmic Radiance going to be coming in from Null, keeping himself alive, but that has got not going to be the main target. Instead, it's going to be Zeros trying to defensively all going to be run down. Jensen going into the stopwatch, keeping himself alive. Pallet not quite able to find the kill. Jensen finally going to be shut down. But Team Liquid will crush Fong Vu Buffalo in their base. Four men still standing. Only two on the side of PVB. And the Nexus turrets are the target. Core JJ and X Smithy going even further, looking to find the kill on Denal. And Impact goes on a killing spree. Pallet can do nothing but look on at the rubble as Team Liquid will take them down in 29 minutes. And the redemption story for TL starts with a 2-0 at 